Welcome back, and we are at the Prophet's Cell, continuing on with Elder Loot's online. And keeping with tradition, more loot. Fantastic. More likely going to be skipping over this part because I'm going to be running around the entire room, as you can see. Much loot abound. I would not want to bore you with this. So I shall be back once things get interesting again. Okay, time to continue on. Alright, the good news is we made it here in one piece and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. What do you mean? Where are you going? I probably should have mentioned this before, but it never seemed like the right time. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Don't do this, Lears. There must be another way. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Ball isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. The Prophet chose you for a reason. Get him to safety. I'll be fine. I'll keep him safe. Just for you. There are magical locking devices on either side of the cage. You need to deactivate both of them so I can begin the transfer. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. I understand. Good luck. Yep. That looked pleasant. Just grab some Daedric piece of technology. Hope it doesn't kill you or anything. I give myself that the prophet might be free. Okay. I got a steer in there. Or is it just gonna go? Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Worked out his plan, I guess. Thank the divines, you are safe. There is that at least. Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. For some reason, you look like King Septum, but I'm gonna ignore that. I wish that were possible, but I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. That is I am now called Vestige. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel. That longs to be filled. It is as the scroll is foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That is Why does she call you prophet? My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. I have too many questions. Oh, I have to finish talking to you. Wonderful. Thank the divines you wish. Let's speed this up here. Anchor. Let's go. Gonna move on. Fight. Okay. to the anchor moorings. Got it. He's 
going to permanently heal me. So all I need to do is just spam my attack. That's all I gotta do. The intro boss fight. You gotta make you feel like a legendary warrior. Even though it's a fight that's pretty much impossible to lose. And when I say pretty much, I mean it is impossible to lose. Chop down a tree. Ooh, iron great at sword. Cannot use. Dang. Talk to this dude. The Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nern in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. Where do I get one of those? A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nern. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Oh, I'm ready, Prophet. Let's go. Come on. Let's do Shard this. Shards of fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly. Collect the sky shard. Sweet. That looks phenomenal. Great Akatosh, Dragon God of Earth 3, I'll gain a skill point. Children are lost in the fog between worlds. They cry out for mercy. Hear my voice, Akatosh. Sweet. I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molog Baal be denied. Hurry, we must go now. The vestige awakens once again. Come here. We must speak. Okay. Fortunately for some, unfortunately for others, not like anybody really cared at this point in time. I will not be continuing this playthrough just because Elder Scrolls Online seems to be lacking in the department of something that might be interesting to watch. So, if I do find something interesting, I will record it and I will post it. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the intro to Elder Loots Online. See you around.